in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Came back to him, vessel unworthy, so scarred with sin. But he did not despair, he started over again. For our good night message on this Sunday, the 11th of February 2024. Broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University in Rome, Italy, by your servant Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. We listen to this encouraging and strengthening message in line with the Word of God for today, entitled, The Lord Who Touches Our Reprous Situation. It's interesting to note that today we celebrate the World Day for the Sick as we remember Our Lady of Lourdes. Lourdes is a place where people go to and there is a fountain there where Our Lady appeared to Benedict and there in that fountain the sick are thrown there or they are put there and a number of them are healed. Today in the gospel passage we read about a leper in Mark chapter 1 verse 40 to 45 whom Jesus touched. This disease not only caused physical pain but also isolated individuals from society. The man's condition must have left him feeling hopeless, rejected and forgotten. Yet, it is precisely in this dire situation that he encounters Jesus. Filled with desperation and faith, the leper approaches Jesus and falls on his knees before him, saying, If you will, you can make me clean. In this humble plea, we witness the recognition of Jesus' power and authority. The leper acknowledges that only the Lord has the ability to touch his unclean condition and bring about healing. Moved by compassion, Jesus reaches out his hand and does something truly remarkable. He touches the leper. In that moment, Jesus not only heals the physical ailment but restores dignity, acceptance and belonging to this marginalized individual. By reaching out to touch someone deemed untouchable by society's standards, Jesus demonstrates his unconditional love for all people. This beautiful encounter teaches us several valuable lessons as followers of Christ. Firstly, it reminds us that no matter how desperate or seemingly impossible our situations may be, there is always hope. When we turn to the Lord, just as Jesus had the power to heal a person afflicted with leprosy, an incurable disease at that time, he has the power to transform our circumstances today. Secondly, this story serves as a reminder that God sees beyond our outward appearances or societal labels. He looks into the depths of our hearts and desires to heal us from within. Just as Jesus reached out and touched the leper, he longs to touch the broken parts of our lives, bringing restoration, renewal, and healing. Lastly, this account highlights the importance of faith in receiving God's touch. The leper displayed unwavering trust in Jesus' ability to heal him. Similarly, we are called to have faith in the Lord's promises and believe that He is able to touch our own leprous situations, whether they be physical, emotional, or spiritual. Dear brothers and sisters, let us find hope and encouragement in this powerful story from Mark chapter 1, verse 40 to 45. No matter how dire our circumstances may seem, 
We can trust in the Lord who touches our leprous situations. Let us approach him with humility, faith, and a deep longing for his transformative touch. May his love and healing power overflow in our lives today and always. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. And my face will praise He just picks up the pieces He doesn't throw the clay So